Hello and welcome to the Thursday, January 11th, 2018 edition of the Science Unit Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Apple apparently still has issues with consistent authentication and the latest evidence here is a pretty embarrassing flaw in the App Store settings in System Preferences. If you're going to System Preferences App Store in the latest greatest version of OS X and your settings are locked, which they often are, all you have to do is click on the lock, enter any password, doesn't matter what password, and this particular set of settings is unlocked. Now these are not the most critical settings necessarily but you could for example turn off automatic updates or enable them for that matter and with that in some cases you may be able to trigger a system reboot but you have to be already logged in as an administrator user in order to trigger this flaw which of course further limits the impact of this vulnerability. So I would rate this particular vulnerability as embarrassing but uh, certainly not very important. And if you're using one of the wallets offered by Electron in order to keep your Bitcoins, your Bitcoin Cash or your Litecoin crypto coins, well, it's time to update. These wallets offer a server mode and well, it's enabled by default. You may remember a few weeks ago, I talked about this with the Geth wallet for Ethereum. It also offers this JSON RPC server mode. It's disabled by default. And well, if you enable it, there is no authentication. Now by default, and that's the case here for these Electron wallets, it only listens on loopback, but well, you're still not safe from remote attackers because all it takes is some JavaScript in your web browser to send attacks against uh, the JSON RPC interface. An attacker would be able to not only get your wallet address, that's pretty straightforward. With this, they would be able to essentially de-anonymize you. Secondly, they may be able, if you don't have it password protected, get the secret for your wallet, which would then allow them to steal all of your crypto coins. So really all it takes is for you to have uh, this uh, wallet running while at the same time using your web browser. And of course you kind of have to do this if you are ever trying to use your crypto coins to pay for something on a website. Now, one of the vulnerabilities that I specifically pointed to in Microsoft's update on Tuesday was CVE 2018-0802. I may actually have yesterday mispronounced this a little bit, but this is the vulnerability in Microsoft Equation Editor. Now, Microsoft Equation Editor had another vulnerability late last year and uh, there was already quite a bit of talk about this because Microsoft Equation Editor is quite old, apparently 17 years old, and it was one of the few, if not the only processes that didn't yet use ASLR. Also, the patch was a binary patch. So there were a lot of rumors that Microsoft actually didn't have the source code anymore for this component, that's why they weren't able to recompile it with ASLR. Now, after the patch late last year, ASLR was sort of added, or with this patch, I should say, ASLR was added to Equation Editor, but still, it was sort of hanging out there. The other odd thing with CVE 2018-0802, which is the one that was uh, patched this week, was that it said that, that exploitation is unlikely. But in Microsoft's bulletin, and I'll link to the specific bulletin as part of the show notes, it also said that this vulnerability had already been exploited. And so that usually doesn't really go well to each other if it's unlikely to be exploited, but already being exploited. Exploited. Now, first of all, this week's patch from Microsoft just disables the functionality. So they just removed the equation editor and basically solved the problem this way. But as far as the exploitability goes, there is a blog that Checkpoint released today, which actually walks you through how to exploit this particular vulnerability. 
Now, with ASLR, of course, that's not quite straightforward, but Checkpoint actually came up with a relatively easy trick. They're using ROP or return oriented programming, which has been used before for ASLR. And really, all they need is 256 different equation objects that essentially brute force the memory location. And with that, they're able to exploit this vulnerability. So the original advice stands that this is something that you definitely should patch. Yes, you will lose equation editor, something you're probably not going to miss too much anyway. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.